So after you've learnt the OLL and PLL algorithms, and if for some reason you're really twisted and actually enjoy learning algorithms, then don't worry, there's plenty more that you can learn. And even if you don't enjoy learning algorithms, I'd still suggest learning some new ones which can come in very handy in your solves. The first main category of algorithms after the OLL and PLL that I'd suggest looking at are OLS algorithms. So these are algorithms which solve your last F2L slot and orient your last layer at the exact same time. The second main category of algorithms are algorithms used only for your last layer. There are an obscene number of possible cases and algorithms that you can learn. My general rule of thumb is to learn easy cases from a variety of different subsets so you can take advantage of those cases when they arise in your solves. In addition to that, I'd advise you to spend more time practicing your F2L as opposed to learning last layer algorithms. That being said, nothing's stopping you from learning as many algorithms as you like.